and welcome to oh, our winner is us. That's us. That is. As we say, <laughs> we're playing. Not all players in this game are. God damn it, Sarah, you had one fucking job. Are you ready? Yes. We're playing Borderlands 1. This one. Which is one of my favorite game series of all time. It's this is true. Actually, People the game. Me Borderlands. This is actually the game in which I've spent the least amount of time of the whole series, so. <laughs> I can't turn my freaking music volume up. <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. Hello, Claptrap. How are you? He's more annoying in this game than he is in the other ones. Yeah, in the other ones, he actually has a personality. In the other ones, he's a little endearing, but he's actually really fucking annoying in Tales from the Borderlands, too. He kind of is. Did you get him in Tales from the Borderlands? I I did not play as him no. You're thinking of Borderlands pre sequel, dear. Oh yeah, hey, shit, yeah. No, he it tails he doesn't show up unless you get him in the in the fifth episode, which I guess spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> retroactively, but God damn you're gigantic. Am I? I'm so used to playing Krieg and being <laughs> huger than everybody I... else. Your your head comes up to the barrel of my gun. I know, I'm so used to playing Krieg and being huger than everybody else, but but yeah, dude, Cla Claptrap has a dirty mouth in Tales from the Borderlands. He curses really? so much, it's great. <coughs> they kind of flanderized him, though, but, you know, whatever. Me and my TV tropes lingo. Where are we going? I can't remember, actually. Probably Claptrap. So before we started recording, you said something, you started to say something, and then you were like, oh, I'll wait till we start recording. Oh, yeah, I was gonna... Try to decide which character I was gonna play, and then I was like, fuck it, Berserker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Roland is actually the only one I haven't played as. I always forget that there's no DLC characters in this game. I don't. There, there is DLC, though. There is, and I haven't. I do too, but I haven't played any of it. I haven't either, actually. This is, this is, like I said, this is the one I've played the least. Well, this but actually is gonna work out quite well then. Before I started yesterday. This music is really loud. I had uh, just two characters. I had a level 25 Lilith and a level 25 Mordecai, and that was it. And then I... Also, I... Dude. You're dude, fucking like a... huge. I changed my colors to right. Deadpool. Nerd! <laughs> I'm just going to make all of my clothes black so that they match the Deadpool, rest of me. I am Deadpool, the Berserker. I'm glad you I were talking while I said that because it was racist. I'm not gonna do that. Aw oh, man, I just keep thinking of racist color combinations. God damn it. I'm like, oh, I'll do red and green. <laughs> Fuck me. Wait, how is red and green racist? Because it's fucking watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna die. Everything oh. is racist if you try hard enough. Everyone's a little bit racist. Sometimes. Doesn't mean we go around committing hate, hate crimes. crimes. <laughs> I don't know. I think I tried to make him look like Nathan Drake, but actually, no. He looks a little bit like this scarf thing. Is I'm getting a whole Venom Snake vibe from it. Yeah. Also, I'm a I'm a consumer whore. Yesterday, I started playing Rocket League, and I bought the freaking DeLorean. <laughs> And when That's I had, another one we gotta play on here at some point. When I had 88 boost, I had to take a little minute to have a nerdgasm. <laughs> 88 miles power! Would you just open the goddamn gate? Did you see them on uh, Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Michael J. Fox, what a poor, what a sad story. Yeah, doesn't he have, like, Parkinson's he has Parkinson's or something? I know, I love that guy, too. He keeps trying to act, but he just can't. Love that guy. He's always been one of my favorites. Family Ties, Spin City. I've only ever seen him in Back to the Future. It's it's his best work, but... <laughs> a couple of years ago, we tried to start up a new sitcom on NBC with uh, Marie from Breaking Bad. Really? Yeah. It was, I, I enjoyed it, but it got cancelled. Uh. Shut 
Shotgun to the face! Shotgun to the you face! Know, I think Borderlands 2 is my favorite in this series, but this game is still pretty good. Yeah. It feels the most like a shooter of the series. <coughs> I agree. Like, the rest of them really capitalize on the whole RPG thing, which is great, but... I just took one of those and I didn't even ask you. I'm so used to playing Diablo. Uh, <laughs> which, we need to do it's that. It's been like a month since we played that, yeah. But yeah, this game is its very shootery, which I like, honestly. But And the enemy scaling, I think, is a little bit better, too, than in the other two games. Yeah. Actually, but, you know what? After we do a couple episodes of this, we should uh, play some Diablo. Maybe. Or maybe we'll just play more of this. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> Diablo. I mean... To be fair, we do have hardcore characters, so once we die, we're screwed anyway. We should do some Diablo tomorrow, I think. Okay. Because then we have to we stream that, you know, that's our streaming thing, so that'll be a whole thing. Yeah. Would you fucking crouch? Okay. You stand whore. That's I what know, I do. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Shut up, Claptrap. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Actually, this is the only Borderlands game I never finished. Wait, you haven't even finished this one? No, I never finished this one. Oh, shit. I told you, I got to level 25. Two times. Here, kill that guy. He's right behind you. Yeah. Way to go, champ. It's been a while since we played Borderlands together. Any, any it Borderlands. It feels good to be back at it. Damn straight it does, man. I'm back on the smack, as Spencer put it. <laughs> he saw me playing the pre sequel the other day, and he's like, You're back on the smack! <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I have a serious Borderlands 2 problem. <laughs> and the pre sequel to a lesser extent, but it's mostly Borderlands 2. Yeah. Borderlands 2 does the thing that every 2K game does to me. Which is weird because it's not a developer, it's just a publisher. But every time I play a game published by 2K, I get sucked into it for like a week straight. Oh yeah. A oh, fucking angel. I do it with Civilization 5, I do it with XCOM, I do it with Borderlands 2. It's basically like our TF2 stints, like... Oh yeah, we, we'll we go on TF2 like massive two like month long TF2 rampages. A month straight, just need my TF2. Yeah, we'll just like, we'll go on, we go on binges with games, we go whole hog. Yeah. Like there was a month where we were playing Diablo. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened there. You had like one health and you stood on a fire. What did you expect oh. would happen? Okay, that makes sense. Remember, you can't move uh, when you're down in this game. Oh yeah. Also, it did not sound like Brock or Brick just said bigger. <laughs> Sounded like a different word. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess he's allowed to. I don't know. Is Brick black? I can't tell. Roland is, but I don't. I don't know. Is he Mexican? I don't know. What? What are you? You're just know. big. You're just large. Yeah, That's I, I your mean, ethnicity. I look white in, in my character thing. It doesn't sound white, though. But that's not racist. Also, another spoiler alert. Um, I am so fucking sad about Scooter. Oh my god, me too. I'm going to die. I, I had Fiona go step free with him when he was gonna die, cause I was like, you know what, you deserve this, man. I did too. I was like, dude, you are doing the ultimate sacrifice here, It's this is the least awesome. I can do. I hope, like, part of me hopes that he ends up not being dead, but also part of me would feel like it's a cheap cop-out to have him end up being alive after that. Yeah. But, man, I just want more Scooter. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, you have to admit that Tales from the Borderlands, even if it's like a completely different gameplay style and shit. Oh, it's fucking good. It is like the perfect sequel slash lead into it's the like, next. It's like my second next. favorite Borderlands game. <laughs> yeah, same here. It's fucking good. And oh my god, Loader Bot. That yeah. was awesome. <laughs> Dude, I have been shipping Loader Bot and Gordis so, so hard. So fucking hard. Oh my god. And. Like seriously, the couple I spent ever. the entirety of that game being like, is it Zero? Is it August? Is it Felix? Nowhere in my lot. mind was it Loader Bot. Like nowhere. Yeah. And even up until the very second they 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 revealed it, because he was like, I saw the betrayal. I was like, oh, it's August. And then it moves up to the hill and it's fucking Loader Bot. I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> that was awesome. That that was one of the best 
reveals Bravo Telltale game. That was that was awesome. That's a contender for game of the year for me, honestly. And I say that having played The Witcher 3 and Metal Gear Solid 5 and loved them both to death. Yeah. That that was that was seriously awesome. But fuck, man. Like that lead-in too with Fiona and Reese just disappearing. Yeah. Like that has so many possibilities. I didn't even notice that happen the first when I was playing it. I didn't even see that happen. I know, me neither. And then I, I read it online I later. I was like, wait, where the fuck are they? Where? I read it. I read about it online later, and I was like, shit, where'd they go? Like, I, I was sitting there, sitting there at that screen for a moment, and then I was like, wait, what? Where? Where did they go? Where are they? Oh shit, they disappeared. They traveled. God damn it! So cool. I want them, honestly, I want the next Borderlands game, I want Borderlands 3 to be about those characters, and in, it's, I mean, obviously it's way too much to ask, but I want it to be like dual developed by Telltale and Gearbox, and incorporate the gameplay of Borderlands 2, but the decision making and storytelling of Tales. Oh, that would be the best you know, that would be like the perfect game. It would. It's like Skyrim with guns. Yeah. Why don't you look around? I, I, I Wait, say no, yeah, but I've never actually me. played Skyrim, that's so I'm just jumping on the bandwagon. No, the right? joke is, uh, <laughs> that was like the box quote from Machinima about Far Cry. <laughs> that was that was the thing in all, in all of the advertising kiosks for Far Cry 3 when it came out. It was like, it's like Skyrim with guns. I'm like, why would you use another game, not even made by that company, to <laughs> cash in on advertising for your own? It's like, remember that fucking consumer shit that all you people fucking ate up last year? Well, this is kind of like that. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But man, oh, that would be awesome. Like, at the very least, I would absolutely love if the next Borderlands had the characters from Tales. Yeah, I would I would eat, the sh I would eat that shit up like, like the goddamn oh, yeah. consumer whore I am. Because number one, Loaderbot is amazing, and I want more of him. Can and you imagine if he was playable? I would be the happiest person. Like ever. one of your skill trees turns you into like a different kind of bot each, for each I'm, one, like Wilhelm, but taken to eleven. I'd be the happiest girl ever. I would be the happiest girl ever too. Like I would get a sex change just to be the happiest girl ever. <laughs> like mm, I, just call me Caitlyn, man. I don't even fucking care. It was great though. On on Twitter a couple of days ago, uh, LC98 from the Shaftlands, he was like. Talking about how he just submitted his first college application, and I was like, I give college a six out of ten. Would not play again. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody else, I don't remember who it was, they came in <coughs> and they were like, college, it's like Skyrim but with essays. <laughs> <laughs> Epic win. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a total consumer whore. I would totally, I'm gonna buy whatever shit Borderlands puts out. Like at this point, Gearbox has attained the level that. Uh, they have Arrested attained development. the ultimate. They've like, attained the level of fandom for me that I have for Arrested Development, where the next 35 entries could be shit and I'll still keep buying them because the originals were so good. Yeah. Like, and this they is the guy who just. My loyalty 100%. Yeah. This is the guy who just decided to pre order a game today because it had grapple hooks in it. <laughs> <laughs> I have such an unhealthy relationship with games that have grapple hooks in them. I just fucking love grapple hooks. Like, I liked Bionic Commando. And that game was trash. Really? I heard it had its good points. The good points were because of the grapple hook. <laughs> <laughs> well then. I fucking love grapple hooks, man. Like, I like Wind Waker just because it has a grappling hook in it. And that's not even like a conventional grapple hook. That, well, it, it is a conventional grapple hook. It's just you swing. Zelda? That's a great game, otherwise, but it made it all more better because it had a grapple hook in it. Like, that's my... That might be my third favorite Zelda game. Behind Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask, obviously, it's my favorite, but... Majora's Mask is a goddamn masterpiece. <laughs> but yeah, I bought Dying Light. Remember I told you, I bought Dying Light because my friend said it had grappling hooks in it, and I got, like, halfway through that fucking game and there were no grapple hooks. And I felt betrayed. <laughs> I'm like, why did I spend sixty dollars on this? There's no grapple hooks. <laughs> Dying light, by the way, is fucking boring. Yeah, I played it at PAX a couple of years ago, and it's like, goddamn beautiful game, beautiful even game. Even at PAX, like, yeah, beautiful game. Boring as all hell. Oh, boring. The only enjoyment I got out of it while I was at PAX 
was shooting the canisters on the back of the hazmat zombies and watching them fly into space. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like Pokemon Black and White. It's like a, a special effects demo. Yeah. Boring as hell. I, I I could not bring myself to play it, but I was I was just I kept pushing because I'm like, you know what? There's gonna be grapple hooks. It's gonna be great. Maybe there are grapple hooks. I don't know, but it it didn't give me grapple hooks early enough, and it's dead to me, figuratively speaking. And when I say figuratively speaking, I meant no pun intended, but whatever. <laughs> it's been a long day. I had to interview some fuck. It was, it was rough. It's been a long day. You had to interview people. Hey, people. The other person's tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't even interview two people today. <laughs> God damn it. Journalism class. Would not recommend. Well, I don't know. It's okay. It is the most stressful class I've ever taken. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that at all. I wouldn't have thought so either, but you have to write a whole bunch of shit, like, every week. It has to be perfect. You can't make any factual errors at all, or you lose 25 points out of 100. Oh, shit. You have to just line up interviews, decide something to write about, get two interviews done, and write it in one week. Oh, okay. It's tough. It's, it's very stressful class. And I say this as somebody who's a fairly good writer. Yeah. Like, anybody who kn who has read anything I've ever written knows that I tend to be incredibly verbose. And with journalism, that's like the exact opposite of what you need to do. The entire point is concision. Yeah. Like, if you have a sentence that's longer than 35 words, you automatically lose 10 points. Oh, shit. So it's fucking hard, <laughs> man. Because I will write these, like, masterpieces of sentences that are like 900 words, but they're completely grammatically correct and structured in a way that makes sense, but... At the end of the day, that's not what they're looking for. What is this? This is for a quest that we can't do yet. Don't you love that? Oh, I love it so Look much. Look at this echo log we can't pick up. Love that. At least, at least Borderlands 2 had the this... decency to hide them from you when you couldn't pick them up. Yeah. Man, I was playing... I've been playing all the Borderlands games the past couple of days. I played Tales from the Borderlands, played pre-sequel, played Borderlands 2, played this. I played Borderlands 2 a little bit yesterday, and I was going through my... One of my Salvador files where I was on True Vault Hunter. Oh, it yeah. was insane to me how I could just play that unconsciously at this point. <laughs> like, I was doing the, the very first couple of side quests. Like, I had just gotten back from killing Midgemong, and I was doing the. Uh, oh, shit. The, the Echo Log quest in Liarsburg. I can't remember her name. Oh, yeah, that one. You would think I would be able to remember her name, but. Um, it'll come to me. But. <laughs> The one who headbutted a belt sander because her husband gave her a skag pro ring that induced pheromones on the skags yeah. or whatever. But I just knew where all of them were, and I was just going through the motions and picking them up. And I knew how to get there immediately once the first, the other echo log would finish, <laughs> and just pick wow. it. It was it was crazy, and I was like completely <coughs> not even paying attention while I was doing it. I've played that game so many times. <laughs> what the hell is her name? It's gonna bother me. It starts with an H. Helena Pierce. I got it. Oh yeah. Everything's I do better. Ring a bell, but I couldn't... For some reason, in my head, I kept thinking Heather Locklear. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Who's an actress? No accurate. <laughs> it's an actress. It starts with an H. You go meet with the blind guy. Oh look, it's TK Baka. Baha. Baha. TK Baha. <laughs> TK Baka. One more <laughs> You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> it's funny because he's blind. <laughs> I did notice the first time I played this, like, it's funny and it's it's still a good game and stuff. Oh, you're, you're not. They're fighting a whole bunch of guys. I'm but fighting like, little baby skags. You were but like, the characterization is so much better in Borderlands. Oh, yeah. Too. Like, and arguably, I think... TK is okay, but the fact that his one deal is the fact that he's blind is Yeah, like, it's like, oh, oh good. <laughs> well, okay. I think part of that's probably Anthony Birch, to be honest, but, uh... Uh, yeah, that's why but Borderlands 2 is so much better. That's why Borderlands 2 is so much better, because Anthony Birch wrote it, and uh, yeah. he didn't write this. But, uh... Arguably, I think one of the few things that the pre-sequel does better than Borderlands 2 is the characterization. In I agree. some places. 
Even if every character is a lesbian. Every fucking character is a lesbian in that game, which, fine, but it's it's super weird. But I think the characterization of the player characters is way better, but the characterization and, and of Jack is way better, but the characterization of the other yeah. players is not. Or the other characters. Like, because, like, Janie Springs gets really fucking annoying. Really she does. Bad. She gets really she has She <laughs> has, like, hit, TK Ba is blind, and Jenny Springs is a moon lesbian, and that's her character trait. It's like, I'm Australian, I'm a lesbian. Let me bring that up every other sentence. I'm like, I, I get it, it's great for you. Yeah. And they that was even, they they made that better in Tales from the Borderlands, because they were like, you know what, let's actually have her in a relationship with an important character, and it's interesting, and it's fun yeah. to see. It's like, that's awesome. And, the, and they, she, like... She cares about them, and they care about her, but they don't know how to do it, and it's like, cool, these are actual, like, relationships. Like, look, things. real characterization. Yeah, like, these are trials that people actually go through. I mean, minus the whole being a vault, but, vault hunter thing, but, you And know, I liked it that, because, like, in addition to having that story, there was actually fun gameplay, which set it apart from Gone Home. Exactly. Gone Home is like reading a book. I mean, I I honestly didn't mind that. I, I, but, like, I can't stand that home. game. I can't stand that game. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten, lesbians. Good job. You did it. <laughs> you know where I stand on that game, but yeah, it is weird I, I do know where about the pre-sequel because like. But that's that's definitely a matter of to each their own too. Yeah, which is fine. You know what? Like you're entitled to your I own like opinion. A game that you literally just even walk around wrong. finding shit. And I'm the first. I'll be the first to acknowledge that my favorite game is, is like 90% trash. So. <laughs> Sonic. What? My favorite game is like 90% trash. So. Yeah. Sonic Adventure 2. That game is mostly garbage. <laughs> Still love it. <laughs> but yeah, like pre sequel. Almost every character in that game is a lesbian. It's so weird. So they're they're it's they're they're overcompensating. I think. I don't know. It's weird. I kind of agree. So look, Janie, lesbian. Athena, it's... lesbian. Aurelia, lesbian. Uh, random uh, NPC who gives you a side quest, lesbian. Random NPC who gives you a side quest too, lesbian. And I wouldn't. I, well, I don't care, really but they always bring it up. Yeah. I also find it really stupid how, like, they decided to be all politically correct with some things in halfway the Borderlands through too, the series. Or Borderlands pre like, I mean, they're, they're not midgets not, anymore. They're not midgets. They're short people. They're lil. Like, we have a, what are you gonna do about the fucking psychos? Isn't that offensive too? <laughs> it's like, come yeah. on! Like, if Jesus. you're gonna be politically correct with one thing, do it with all the things. Also, all the women are lesbians, but all the men are straight, so... Yeah. That just sucks for them, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. Borderlands pre-sequel is a fun game, but it is essentially a very long Borderlands 2 DLC. Yeah. And Which, also, you know, nothing wrong with that. The, yeah, well, I like Borderlands too. But fun. The doppelganger is a very boring character to play as well. He looked interesting, but then once I saw you playing him and you were like not impressed at all, no, I was like, sucks. oh, maybe not. He's, he's super boring. I don't, I don't know. The other characters are good, like Nisha, Athena, Wilhelm, Claptrap. They're all fucking awesome. Oh, I, I loved Wilhelm. Wilhelm was fun. They're Especially all very fun. Especially once he got the robotic upgrades. Like, I feel like they just felt like, like they needed... Like, his voice just started to get synthesized. Oh, that was There's great. There's a pup's gag behind you you can kill. Actually, now he's in front of you. I felt like they felt like they needed to add two DLC characters, because that was what they did in Borderlands 2, but with Borderlands 2, the DLC characters were arguably the two best characters in the game. Yeah, I fucking love the Mechromancer. That's probably what I'll, I'm gonna play when when we play. I could talk about Krieg here. for hours. <laughs> oh yes, you could. I could and gush you about Krieg for hours. Like, <laughs> this is like that's like one of the gaming rants that I can go on for hours. The other one's the Dreamcast. People watching, you haven't talked with Cheddar for hours, but I have, and he has literally ranted about Krieg for hours. Almost as long as I've ranted about the Sega Dreamcast. Yeah. <laughs> How much I love it. We're actually going on 25 minutes here, so we should probably cut this one okay. here. Uh, well, so, so. To, to end that off, I'll give you guys a uh, an idea of how much Cheddar loves the Dreamcast. At one point I said, fuck the Dreamcast. He said, I tried. Doesn't work out that well. No. Ah, well, to each his own, right? It Doesn't it, like, it accepts discs, not cartridges, right? Definitely not penises. Yeah. Nope. There is no penis inserting peripheral thought of. Not yet. <laughs>